Hello everyone, welcome back to more Dominion against TLS. I'm playing against Transport Layer Security. Uh, okay, Ironmonger, Crown, hmm, a lot of treasures here. We have Shelters as well. Underling makes, okay, I mean, I know all these cards. Oh, do I know these? Yes. Citadel, first time you play an action each turn, play it again. Pilgrimage is a journey thing, okay. So what are we doing? What do we have for trashing? Bobble doesn't trash, does it? No. Develop trashes. That's probably worth doing, even though it kind of sucks. Oh, especially with shelters. You cannot develop shelters. They're so bad. I mean, you can. A bobble might not be the end of the world, I guess. It seems like you have to get potions, right? University is great. Alchemist is great. Are there buys here somewhere? Bobble. Yeah. Is there any reason in over here to play or to not play my necropolises? No, right? Oh, Plateau Shepherds is going to be pretty bad. I guess Bobble, right? Oh, Underling also gives favors. I forgot about that. I would like to develop my coppers, but I don't know if I want to hamstring myself this early to do that. I think I'll just take an innocuous Underling here. Maybe it's supposed to be silver. I don't know. Because it's it's a, it would be nice to hit like three in a potion, but two in a potion is fine too. So I don't think we need a silver, necessarily. Okay. I believe it is Alchemist over University, right? Like, University can gain crowns, but the thing you want to crown is Alchemist. Wait, why am I gaining favors? Like, this thing sucks. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's okay, like, we'll have some baubles eventually. Um, but the baubles can gain favors too. This is just like kind of a card that's better than nothing. But I'm not buying it because it's specifically good. Um, I don't want a pilgrimage, do I? Actually, that would be a nice investment, wouldn't it? Another Ironmonger is also quite good, though. Yeah, just keep getting Ironmongers. They're even worse with Shelters, because it can hit Hovel, which isn't an action, or Victory Card, or whatever. Okay, and I, I do need a University. I'm jealous of these crowns. I'm pretty lucky, lucky connecting the alchemist with the shuffle so many times in a row. I think we can afford a crown here. Pretty soon we're going to have to pick up um, a bobble, though. The underling that I bought, I don't know. Was it good? Who can say? But... Now I need a bobble because it's the only buys. It was basically just like passing, right? As I say, better than nothing. I guess I claimed I was developing and I'm not doing it. Wow! I didn't notice opponent picked up Harvest. It's such a bad card. Why would you get it? Oh, buys Citadel. Wow, actually made it up to a billion dollars. That's pretty cool. Well, if there's one thing Harvest can do, it could be hit a billion dollars if you play it twice, I guess. Um, give me more crowns and more alchemists.
I mean, my deck has at least $8 in it, so a Citadel is possible. And I certainly would like one. I don't think I'm, like, in territory of drawing my deck right now. Which is what I would need to hit Citadel, more or less. I don't understand how opponent has bought Harvest and it, like, seems to be okay. I guess there's library? No, because it doesn't discard... It's just like a, a disappearing terminal gold for them, roughly, which does not seem very good, even though library, it does synergize with something like that. Okay, so we have what? Six bucks here. If I play this for coins twice, I'll have eight, right? That seems like a good amount to have. I could alternatively have top decked a bank. Doesn't seem very good. Harvest Library. I mean, that's the thing they're doing. Okay. It's better with shelters, for sure. Huh. Gaining a million cards with University? I guess I could play University twice instead of Alchemist twice here. That actually does seem good. Crown. Crown. Yeah, I worried this might happen. Draw a crown for my Necropolis. Great value. Oh, I can actually play it for my potion, which doesn't do anything because I don't have any buys. So I guess crowning the coppers is the way to go. So here, crowning the crown is the way to go, right? Because... It's the same as crowning an alchemist, but you get more actions. Not that I'm drowning in terminals or anything. Okay. I mean, there's library stuff happening over there. I mean... I'm not sure the harvest really is doing all that much. I don't know, maybe it is. The fact that they can someday crown a bank is gonna be pretty horrible. Probably, I don't need to crown a crown anymore, right? If I want to, I have plenty of actions. If I wanna crown something, I can do it. And if I wanna crown a treasure instead, I can do that. Okay. Do I want a lot of fives? More crowns is cool. But I think I need to make sure I get to my bobble, right? Or try to? I can guarantee it with these, can't I? Almost. So, buy and coin on both, I think? Or maybe I can... Do I want to top deck a bank? It's unclear, right? Because I have nine. Ah. So I could top deck... I could gain a university. I don't know. I guess I'll... like. I have way more favors than I need. I don't think I need the buy. I guess I don't really need the top decking either, but it's optional, right? Yeah. So a bank, which I don't think I'm supposed to top deck. And, well, 
actually, maybe I was. And an alchemist, which I do do top deck, obviously. Wow, crown copper. What kind of shuffle did you give yourself? That's horrible. Getting to crown a bank is going to be absolutely disgusting. And I think we will be doing that, right? I'll keep that just to make sure I get there. Copper we obviously discard. I don't know how many crowns I have. Isn't it like four? So there should be another. It's at least four, right? Hmm. Okay. I could have gained something with university. You know what I should have? I should have gained crown, crowned alchemist, drawn the other crown, and then I would have had a little bit more going on. This way I get to crown the bank and I don't know, but I, drawing these treasures would have been good. Obviously I can't undo now because I learned what learned information from playing the alchemist, but that's what I should have done. Now, crowning a crown is not any different from just playing the crown twice. Uh, we want the bobble crowned. Buys and coins. Buys and coins. Then we don't play the crown. We play all this stuff first. Crown the bank. 33 is pretty good. I think we buy six or four provinces, right? Maybe not. I can't even do that. Okay, I guess I'll take three provinces then. I don't have enough buys. But triple is still pretty good. Opponent also can't do any more than triple because they don't have enough baubles and they don't have any way to gain them mid-turn, I don't think. Yeah. And if they do triple, that loses to double, obviously. If they don't triple, aren't they in pretty bad shape also? I guess I'm crowning an underling to get to my buys. Come on. Oh, I should have crowned that too. Lucky. Well, except I really wanted to crown the bauble, so, or the bank. I don't need to crown the bank anymore, right? If I crown the bauble, well, let's see. Six, seven, eight, no, eight. How much is the bank worth? Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's worth ten. So I don't need to crown the bank to get there. I just need to crown the bauble. No, undo it. I want to leave my action phase. Opponent disconnected. End actions, now crown bobble for buys and coins, and buys and coins. Play all this stuff. I think autoplay treasures would do this and not play the bank prematurely, but just in case. Oof! Didn't actually get there, huh? Uh, should have taken the favor, maybe, instead of the coin? I don't know. Yeah, top deck and that alchemist would have been better. I didn't do the math. I just figured I had 24, but I didn't. Well, I did do the math, sort of. I saw that I was... 
Right. I, I counted that bank was worth 10, and then I assumed I would be crowning it, and I would have 20, and that would be more than enough. But, well, no. I guess what I did the math on was I discovered that crowning the bank would be bad, and I should crown the bobble. But I didn't really think about how much money that would leave me with. Okay. I have the bank. I guess I could stop now. Uh, what, what explains my victory in this game? Alchemists? I certainly had a lot more of them. Um, but, like, how did that occur? I guess, like, opponent bought Harvest and Library, and those are not good cards in this kingdom. And I was saying, wow, that harvest is doing good work, but it's doing good work in the context of like doing things it is possible for harvest to do, and those just aren't that important most of the time. And having a disappearing gold is great if you can like get rid of the rest of your cards, but you can't. Every treasure or victory card you draw, you're stuck with. So the libraries are just aren't doing very much, especially if you're starting with alchemists. So yeah, I think Alchemist into Bank with Bobble was the way to go, and Crown, of course, helps all of that. Huh. Okay. Well, a bit of a short video, but I don't think I want to play another game this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.